On today's episode, I want to take a closer look at the PC market and the information we just got for quarter one of 2023 and how it might impact a big giant like Apple. Let's take a closer look in today's episode. So on April 9th of 2023, a few days ago, um, IDC, a great place where you can find information, kind of described how quarter one of 2023 is going for the PC market. And unfortunately, things don't look that well for this quarter, quarter one, and for the upcoming quarter. So they did mention that global shipments were roughly 56.9 million, marking a contraction of 29% compared to the same time last year. And uh, one thing that I have kind of talked about is how numbers tend to be a little bit higher than pre-COVID numbers. Unfortunately, that was not the case. In 2019, the first quarter of 2019, numbers were roughly 59.2. And in 2018, numbers were 60.6 million. So right now, global shipment numbers in the PC market are worse than 2019 and 2018. Not by much though, but still, it is something to keep in mind of. A few research managers at IDC had this to share. Though channel inventory has depleted in the last few months, it is still well above the healthy four to six weeks. And even with heavy discounting, channels and PC makers can expect elevated inventories to persist into the middle of the year and potentially into the third quarter. So obviously, this is not what you like to hear for companies that are dealing in the PC market, especially for the consumer electronics. So maybe certain semiconductor companies, like we mentioned, and, and this is not new, right? We are expecting to have a very weak first half of 2023 for a lot of PC semiconductor companies like Intel, like AMD, where we expect most of the growth for the second half. So unfortunately, with this IDC event, they do mention that there is a potential of it lasting at least maybe the first quarter of the second half of this year. Uh, so something to keep in mind out. One thing that I did kind of find interesting is they did mention that the pause in growth and demand is also giving the supply chain some room to make changes as many factories begin to explore production options outside of China. And, and this is something I didn't think was going to happen, but with a lot of these geopolitical issues it does seem like pc makers are looking to kind of escape china at the moment or at least kind of diversify their production line uh, that is pretty interesting i don't know if it's just all talk at the moment or if we're going to start to see this progress and see kind of this change in less dependency in chinese production that'll be pretty interesting let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts there before we go any further, I want to thank you for watching and I need your help to reach my goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you can do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and thumbs up. Also, if you want some fantastic insight into the semiconductor industry, join my other channel, Semiconductor Investing and More, where I use my electrical engineering background to break down the semiconductor market. Finally, I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and check out fool.com slash Jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now. With that link, you get a promotional offer for their subscription service. Now, let's continue with today's episode. IDC does mention that PC shipments will likely suffer in the near term, something we've expect with a return to growth toward the end of the year. Again, this is what we're expecting in the semiconductor market as well. So I think all that goes with it. On the bright side, though, some uh, IDC members do say that by 2024, an aging install base will start coming up for refresh. So because a lot of people probably bought a computer or a laptop in 2020 during this whole COVID craze, in the upcoming year, they're most likely going to start looking for new PCs in the education market, for example, in businesses. So that can definitely be a great tailwind for PC makers. They do mention that obviously this is not guaranteed. If a recession does come into key markets like the United States, that can obviously create a, a headwind for that growth and kind of just push it down later into a few more quarters or a few years depending on the severity of the recession um so pretty interesting thoughts here we can see i, I highlighted two key players um that they share in the top five traditional pc companies first is lenovo their units compare in the first quarter of 2022 they had about 18.3 million units shipped 
and this year only 12.7 i think that is insane apple is another one that their um quarter uh that their first quarter of 2023 growth versus the first quarter of 2022 was down 40 percent uh so we can see this is definitely something that can impact apple in their pc market one thing though that i am surprised is apple in my opinion has done very very well in kind of maintaining a lot of those gains we can see stock price right now sitting at roughly 160 dollars year to date the stock is up almost 20 over 28 percent in the past year the stock is only down four percent and again maybe it's because this is not new news for apple about a, a week ago i did cover this where there were reports that apple halted their m2 chip production in january and also february because max sales were plummeting remember this would be for the second quarter of 2023 and maybe even the third quarter of 2023 for apple um, because these chips they are not finished good so they still need time to kind of to kind of build the, the pc themselves so if in january they weren't making it's probably not going to see uh, much impact until maybe upcoming months uh, and Apple does have, even though it's not a uh, a huge, huge dependency, there is some dependency of the Mac product. Uh, for example, in 2022, um, the total Mac sales were roughly $40 billion, which were a little bit over 10% of the company's total revenue. So that is, uh, I mean, 10%, in my opinion, is somewhat notable. But we did see in the first quarter, uh, they are about a quarter ahead in forms of calendar year. Um, but it, the Mac was down roughly 30% in December 31 of 2022 versus December of uh versus the previous December a, a year ago in 2021 uh so we can see things are definitely not looking that great for Apple while I do believe this is massive headwind we have seen that the stock price hasn't really shifted too much I think if I was a long-term I'm not a holder of Apple but if I was a long-term investor I would know that the pain that Apple might be feeling right now in forms of sell is more of short-term created by macroeconomics during the time when econ the economy picks back up, the PC market picks back up, Apple is definitely going to be a winner. So this seems to be more of a market issue opposed to just an Apple issue. And for that reason, if I was an Apple shareholder, I wouldn't really worry too much, especially since right they have other things ahead of them, like the service market, like the iPhone market. Um, but I am going to be interesting to see how uh, interested to see how the iPhone market does with this kind of slowdown in the PC market. Does the same follow with the mobile market? So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Take care. Have a good day and see you next time.